So, hello. Um, just wanted to show you our new troubleshooting app. So it highlights potential issues on a circuit and uh, gives you some options of what might be causing those issues. So it each time presents you with some information what the fault is, um, the causes, likely causes of the fault, uh, a test to investigate the fault and repair actions plus a link to our training to um, find additional information about this particular subject or topic. So we'll just take you through uh, how to use it. Um, we've got only got one circuit in at the moment, so there's an introduction that tells you what to do. And then we come to our circuit, so you click on the components, and it will tell you what the potential fault or issue is. So uh, we've got a lot of faults on at the moment, so you can select through these menus. We've got level one, which is production machines. So they've been fully tested. You know, there's uh, nothing wrong with the design. Uh, so the, any breakdowns or problems are going to be uh, component failures. Level two, repaired or commissioned. Now, quite often when you start adjusting things, you get other faults. Um, when you've got to set them up properly, then uh, they come into these. That sort of level two issue level three is for new designs new developments or quite frankly badly designed pieces of kit or under design sometimes uh, very often designed for cost rather than uh, performance so um, that offers a, another range of issues that you might find more linked to the design than just adjustments um, and then we're looking here we've got a lot of icons at the moment because we're looking at all issues uh, clearly, the warning signs for dangers are things that uh, you might, you should be aware of. Uh, it's worth doing that one all the time. Uh, contamination is probably the largest, well, definitely the largest cause of issues. So that gives you some potential sources and uh, problems, failures. Noise takes you through noise. There's generally the first sign of a problem can be the noise, change the noise signal. Uh, temperature always critical with hydraulics, fluid, viscosities. So where temperature is generated, where it can cause issues. Um, speed issues if you've got uh, your systems running slowly or fast. Or, uh, select that, and then it would uh, prompt you with some potential causes. And we've got four sequence, uh, so you can carry on down through these, and it gives you different potentials. And we've even got at the bottom efficiency because that's critical these days to keep your uh, Power consumption is down, stop wasting fossil fuel, so identify some of the areas where that might be possible. Um, let's go back to all issues here. We can select the different components from here. Um, it's probably easier if you click on them. You can see the icons and you can click on the different components. And it gives you, um, as I say, the potential issues that might be coming up and uh, on each one. And you've got, and if you want to move this around, clear it out of the way, you can move it like this and scroll down through the text if there's too much text. But uh, this is a, hopefully it looks like a very powerful, nice tool. So um, we'd like your feedback. Let us know whether it solves your issues or whether you have issues that uh, it didn't cover. And we'll continue developing this over the next few months and years to, to try and make it into a, a really nice tool. Um, obviously, you can't just do troubleshooting this way you really need to understand the procedures and the logic of it all there's a lot more to it the experience and training so we've got a lot more information on the website and the web pages um, but please let us know how you get on thank you